Hello, everyone, and thank you for attending the Tallarico Martin Bakery virtual job fair events. I would like to introduce you to Carlos. Carlos will tell you about his company, job openings, and how to apply for those openings. Carlos? Hello, everyone. How are you? Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Well, my name is Carlos, and like I said, again, I'm the human resources manager for Tallarico Martin Bakeries. And we are growing in our business, so we are doing some recruiting and uh, looking for some good talent candidates. And let me tell you a little bit about our history in uh, uh, Tolerico. It was established in 1984. Uh, so we have over 36 years uh, serving the community in, in Summit, Illinois. And we are family owned business and we basically have pretty good uh, customers that we are growing uh, day by day. And we value our customers and also our employees. So we are hiring for quite a uh, sal uh, hourly salary positions as you can uh, see on this presentation that we are about to present right now. And again, you know, this is like a family owned business and, you know, we would like to provide customer service, you know, to uh, every single customer and employee that we have. And, uh, you know, we have excellent uh, benefits that we offer to everybody, flexible schedules, as well as, you know, we have, you know, 401k and benefits and part like that that we're going to discuss down the road. But right now we are looking for some general labor positions and maintenance mechanics and sanitors. Okay, so basically what you have to do is either go on a website and submit the job inquiry and we will contact you so we can do maybe a, a personal interview and give you more explanation on what exactly the positions entitles to, as well as, you know, the benefits that we have uh, for every employee that works here. Um, first of all, you know, uh, we are really the, uh, urgently looking for maintenance mechanics. And, you know, with that being said, you know, we want people that can be uh, either well-qualified candidates as well, we have entry levels and we are willing to do some training. So that should not be something that uh, if you have a little bit of knowledge or a little bit of exposure experience as a maintenance mechanic, especially in the food industry, we will be willing to help you with the training and provide you all the tools that you might need in order to become successful with us. So not much experience is needed. And the central position, we are looking for somebody who can be uh, uh, not afraid of being uh, able to work in our sanitation department. And that's basically, it's not more of janitorial, but it's more of like industrial machinery that we have to clean. And again, you know, it's very flexible schedules, uh, really full-time job. If you are uh, looking for um, overtime, there's a lot of overtime available as well. And, and after that also, we have uh, a general labor, which basically we are hiring for mornings and afternoon shifts. And that's basically working in the production and packaging area. And also we have, like I said, full-time employees as well as part-time. So we have two different locations that we'll be willing to accommodate uh, pretty much everybody with their schedules. If we have a second job or looking for an extra income, uh, we'll be able to be very flexible and accommodate you in either location that we have in Summit. Also, you know, we offer great benefits as well. You know, like I said, against full-time employees, and we offer pretty much, you know, if you want to go to school, we offer some in student institution reimbursements. Uh, we offer you the uniform, so that's part of the benefit that you have as well. Uh, we offer medical, life insurance, short-term disability. Also, we have some kind of accident insurance. We offer 401k, and of course, uh, week vacation pay after one year, and also holidays are paid as well. Any questions? Thank you, Carlos. Uh, that was a wonderful presentation. I will go ahead and just kind of ask you a few standard questions, and then you could just go ahead and answer those uh, just like you would during a regular interview. Uh, can you kind of explain, Carlos, how long your hiring process typically takes from the point that somebody would submit an application to the point that you would actually hire them? Okay, we normally do a hire on the spot. Basically, um, we don't require at this moment any background checks or drug testing. So we basically, if you come over, you like what you see, we give a little tour of our location and facility so you can actually get exposed to what we do and how do we work. And then if everything comes in agreement and you're happy with that, uh, we won't be able to hire you on the spot. Uh, with that being said, if you come in a Monday, you'll be able to start on a Tuesday because we will do the new hire orientation right away. So it's immediate hire. Wow, fantastic. Thank you, Carlos. And, you know, we kind of discussed, you know, global pandemic going on right now. A lot of people are scared, you know, or, or concerned about, you know, safety precautions, especially if they have to uh, actually be in a physical location for work. 
can you kind of describe what you guys are doing uh, for uh, handling of COVID safety precautions? Yes, of course. We uh, we are following all the uh, CDC uh, recommendation guidelines, and we follow that to the teeth from the minute you enter into our facility with a temperature check, of course, uh, hand sanitizing. We have a very clean environment. Uh, even in the packaging area, when uh, when you are guys, you know, if interest come to see us, we have dividers and the lines. So employees who are working on the line, they're not in next to each other, so they have the little dividers where you can individually work in a kind of a booth, a kind of environment. And then of course in our cafeteria, we send only a certain amount of people at a time. So we don't have that many crowd uh, employees either at the same time or taking breaks. And again, we take uh, and follow every single guidelines recommendation from the CDC and local authorities. Thank you for that, Carlos. Uh, can you kind of describe what uh, shifts that you have available? Do you offer uh, yes. first, second, third? Of course, yeah. We, one of our locations, we are open seven days a week. So basically we run all first shift uh, from five o'clock in the morning until nine o'clock at night, that's one shift. And the other location we run uh, two different shifts, first and second, six o'clock in the morning and seven for the morning shift. And then in the afternoons, we have a 3.30 shift for the packaging and production department. And our sanitation department comes a little later, around five, six o'clock in the afternoon. And we work from eight to 10 hours a day, uh, depending on what kind of production is going on. And are there any shifts in particular that you need more people for? I will be a second shift. If you're looking for a second shift, like you're looking for a part-time, you're looking for an extra income, uh, we have a second shift available uh, more, uh, the, the more than anything else. But also we still hire for the first shift as well. Thank you, Carlos. And how many open positions do you currently have available with your organization? We have right now uh, between both locations, I mean, maybe a little bit, about 50 uh, positions that we have for general labor, sanitation, and mainly mechanics. Thank you, Carlos. And do you guys provide overtime pay? And at what point uh, do people go ahead and make overtime? We, uh, after every 40 hours, we are, it's going, it's going to be overtime. Uh, of course, we get paid bi weekly, but every 40 hours, you accumulate overtime. Fantastic. And can you kind of explain for people that are listening in uh, what a typical day might look like working for your organization? Uh, I know it'll probably be different based on. Uh, the the position, but if you could kind of explain that, that would be fantastic. Yeah, we definitely, you know, when, when we come in here, it's a very clean and uh, safe environment, very healthy. Uh, it's temperature controlled, so it's not going to be cold, it's going to be hot. So uh, we provide the uniform, we provide all the tools that you need to work. And, you know, basically people have a very big location that we have, so it's wide open. So people feel very comfortable coming to work here. And basically, you know, uh, it's not if we're not on demand. So it's not like you have to do X amount of units per hour per minute. So people, it's very relaxed environment where people come and work and their own pace. Thank you, Carlos. And can you describe the work attire? I know you said a uniform was provided, but you know, shoes, hair nets, other things like that. That is correct. Yes, we uh, after 30 days of employment with us, you know, uh, we will provide you the uniforms, which we, uh, we will take care of that. We will send it to the laundry to get clean and wash. And press. So basically, all you have to do is just come to work, and you know we have assigned areas where you're gonna get your uniform and get you know dressed to work. And uh, for the sanitation department, we are going to be offering the uh, rubber boots for the water because you know they get wet. Uh, and we're working right now in a program for the shoe program where we want to provide you know twice a year uh, shoes to our employees as well. Fantastic. Thank you, Carlos. And do you have any sort of restrictions on tattoos, hair color, or piercings? Uh, well, you know, we have food industry, so we have to follow the GMPs, which is the good manufacturing practices. So basically, you know, for, you know, female, you know, no acrylic nails, no eyelashes, and of course, no piercings. You know, we allow you to wear your uh, uh, wedding band, but basically that's what it is. When it comes to tattoos, we don't care. We know we respect uh, any religion, any beliefs. As long, like I said, you know, jewelry is not allowed in a, in a, in a production floor because of the food. And of course, I, um, lash, eyelashes and uh, clear nails are not permitted. Fantastic. And can a new hire expect to be paid for the time in which they're being trained? Yes, of course. So for the first day you come to orientation, which is normally about five hours of training orientation, you'll be paid automatically. We don't hold any payback or anything like that. And you will get paid right in the next pay period. And how can a uh, candidate, excuse me, stand out and get an interview with your organization, assuming they're qualified? 
Is there anything that they should include in their resume or maybe if they contact you directly, certain things that they might want to include? Well, no, not really. We, like I said, we're very laid back. We are like a family owned business. We, you know, we don't, we're not very uh, strict on what they need as long as people want to be willing to work and want to come to work every day. Uh, basically just contact us and we, we can set up an interview so we can show them our facilities and how we work and explain them what we offer. And basically we go from there. So I believe if they have a resume, that'd be great. They want to submit that because, you know, like I said, again, we are growing. So we are opening new positions that we're going to be coming soon, like like leads, supervisors, quality control. So more skilled positions that they might be qualified for that in the future. Fantastic. Thank you, Carlos. Another question I have for you are, um, what are the opportunities for advancement at your organization? And then are there any like success stories that maybe you can uh, describe? Well, you know, we have people here that have been working when they were 16 years old. And up to this day, they're still working here. And there are in the managed position, we have um, people in the sanitation department who are running our department and the shipping and receiving. Uh, they came here when they were teenagers because we are across two schools. So we have a lot of school, uh, students that come in and work part-time with us. And up to the day, they still work for us. And there is no specific time when you can be promoted within uh, Tellerico Martin. So basically, if you meet the requirements, you have the initiative, and you want to uh, grow within the company, we give the opportunity to everyone who uh, applies and let us know they're interested in that. So it doesn't mean that you have to be here for 10 years in order to be able to transition to a position. You can be here for 10 hours. If you're interested to qualify, we give you the chance and the opportunity to everybody equally. Fantastic. Thank you, Carlos. Are there any uh, fringe benefits that you guys offer? I know you kind of gave a you know brief description of the standard benefits, but are there any other you know kind of unique benefits that maybe somebody could have working for your organization? Yeah, we are we are pretty pretty good on that in that situation. For example, uh, if you uh, decide that you want to go and get your CDL driver license, or you want to go back to school, like maybe some kind of uh, get a sanitation license, or especially we have a lot of Hispanic community where they want to go and take an ESL, which is an English second language classes, uh, the company helps you to, for you to con contribute to you to attend to those classes and get certified or get some kind of education that you might need, you know, as long as it benefits our company. So we are willing to do that as well, so. Awesome. How often are new jobs posted with your organization, Carlos? Uh, that's an everyday thing. So we don't know when somebody might be transitioning to a different position or retiring or maybe uh, going to different careers. And we always have openings that we do uh, internally posted and also we try to do both through you guys for example and advertise those, those opportunities and how many locations do you guys currently operate we have and where two, are they we have two locations we have over 300 employees right now uh when i came on board we have about maybe 179 now we're growing uh both locations are located in summit illinois which is right off of harlem and 63rd harlem and 60th so uh we are it's accessible to public transportation and also it's a very safe area where you have to worry about work, walk, walking in the middle of the night and something will happen to you. So it's, it's very safety area, it's a very small town. And also uh, we, we have really good communication with our local authorities in here, which you know we, we take care of our employees. Awesome, thank you, Carlos. And how could people go ahead and get in contact with you, uh, assuming they want to apply for any of the positions that you covered here today? Yeah, they can go to our website to tellericomartin.com and do a job, go to the uh, um, job website and do the inquiry. And then uh, my, my team and myself will be more than happy to contact them and see what exactly they're looking for and do a little phone interview, you know, and then do an informal interview on location. And also, you know, just uh, again, you know, show them the location, let them taste some of the products that, we, that we're making here and we go from there. Fantastic, thank you, Carlos. And now I would just kind of like to give you an opportunity to include anything that maybe you feel you might have overlooked or forgot during your presentation or maybe something during our discussion made you think of something you'd like to include as well. Well, I just want to emphasize, you know, that we are very, uh, very relaxed and open environment in here. We're very friendly, family oriented, and that uh, we treat employees very nice. You know, we are growing tremendously and the owners as well, you know, like to keep treat people with respect and our, our work environment is very healthy from the point of cleanliness, environment and the treatment of people. Uh, we treat, like I said, everybody with respect and 
we kind of you know, always try to accommodate employees and give them opportunity to grow within the company as well. So basically right now uh, we want to be a 24 seven facility in the future. So that's what we sh uh, our goal is for, but right now, uh, just everybody, this is a great time to get here. I've been here in the company for seven months and I can tell you that I've been happy since the first day and uh, the way that we treat people and the way that we work in here, we are like a family. So we are like, you know, like one team. So it's a very great environment. I will invite everybody to come and check us out and see what exactly I'm talking about. And, you know, perhaps we, why not give an opportunity to work for us. Fantastic. Thank you for that presentation, Carlos. And if anyone has any questions for Carlos, uh, you can go ahead and contact him at the location that he just covered for you. Um, I do also want to mention that this session has been recorded and will be uploaded to the Illinois WorkNet YouTube page, uh, where it will be accessible later this afternoon. Uh, a link to that video is also going to be posted on Tellerico Martin's uh, employer booth, and that will be accessible later this afternoon there as well, if you want to refer to that video to uh, just get a little bit more information on anything that Carlos might have covered here today. Carlos, I want to thank you so much for your presentation. It was fantastic. Um, it's exciting to hear that your organization is hiring on the spot. That's not something that I see typically. So again, if you are seeking a job and you're seeking employment immediately, this is a great organization uh, to apply to. Carlos, thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for attending. Thank you, Daniel. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Have a nice weekend, everyone. Be safe. Thank you. Thank you.